Hello everyone, it's Maddie and Madison with Spectrum Art. Madison wanted to share with you guys these lovely embellishments that she has made. Uh, and they are really, really cute. Let me do a close up first and then we're gonna explain um, what they are. This one is a, what does it have on here? A bicycle. This one's got a seahorse. This one is a dolphin. We have, wait, Oops. the fleur de lis. We've got, oh, a little kitty cat. That's so cute, Madison. We've got a dog bone, and she went through and picked all these, and we'll show you her little packet thing there. Oh, I got that one twisted, but anyway, it's a dog bone. A paw. Oh la la, the Eiffel Tower. That's a cute charm, Madison. I like it. I like it too. A cross. Another kitty cat. Is that a different cat? Oh yeah, it is. Wolf. Okay, I see. This one's like a. Hmm? I thought it was a wolf. For a a second. wolf? I thought so too, but then I'm looking at the tail, and I think it's a cat and a horse. Oops, I'm just covering your embellishment there. So there it is. So let's go through this and explain. We were gonna do one live, but we figured we might as well just kind of share with you the supply list and show you how she accomplished it. So what was the first thing you did? We punched them. Okay, so you use this punch right here. That's from Stampin' Up. To punch out what shape? Those right here, okay. And I think you made quite a few, quite a few extra. Yeah, you kind of went punch crazy there, but okay. So we punch these out, and let me get a basket, and we'll start putting stuff in there. All right, so we punch these out. Then what happened? And then what did you do with these? Um, oxides. You use oxides, okay. And these are the three that you used. You use what? Salty ocean. Yeah. Fired and brick. brick. And iced spruce. Yeah. Okay, and you were trying to just pick up the colors on the yeah. coffee cup embellishments, got it? Okay, so we've and got we our used, oxide. After you oxide these papers, um, what did you do with so, them? So, as I was saying, is we used the silver glitter acrylic. Okay, so you used metallic silver acrylic. For the, um, let me think, uh, for that part. Okay, so you kind of just went in there and put some silver. I, let me make sure and see if you guys can see that. Okay. Then, let's see. And then what? We use red ink. Okay, then you went ahead and used a red ink pad and you distressed the edges, right? Yes. So this way right here? Well, past the gray right up there. Okay, so let me show this one. This one might show it a little bit better. So there's the silver and then there's the red distress. Got it? And that was to bring out the little red gem. Heart. Okay, the heart, yes. Then what did we then do we next? Then we punched the tag black. Then you went ahead and used what to do? The cardstock to do these okay black cardstock but what did you use let me see the punch this weird heavy thingy <laughs> this one's heavy it is heavy that's from fist cars and it um, punches this shape right here and you can either do the holes or not and it also um, gives you that little thing I mean it kind of gives you the bread option there um, but okay so then you punch those out of black and then what um, so let me put let these me here mm -hmm. this side is for small and that's for big Right, this side punches, yes, the tag, and then this one is for punching just a little holes. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? Then we used silver gel. Oh, okay. And so I did that for her. Um, I went ahead and used the, uh, the gel pen, silver, to go around the edges and do a faux stitch. So there's that, okay. Then we glued them together. Okay, so then you glue you use some glue thank you and that's just pba glue and eileen's mixed together but any glue so you glued the coffee cups together the coffee cups on top of these mm -hmm. that were yes. now already and then that on top of this okay got it then we put a ribbon on top if you see yes i can see they can see so we used um you picked two colors red and blue red and blue right so since she used that um salty ocean she wanted to bring out some of the blue on some and then on some others she felt that she wanted to bring out that red gem so very cute idea yes and what else then we use a uh, charm then you use your charm okay oh okay so then she has these little bags um 
that we got from where? Michaels. Michaels, maybe? Yeah, maybe yeah. Michaels or Amazon. Yeah. But it comes with a whole bunch of little cute charms, angels and peas and owls. And uh -huh. and then she used the, um, what do they call, bulb pins. Um, pins, yeah, to to go ahead and, uh, and okay. attach them on the bottom. So on one side, she did the ribbon, and the other side, she did the charm with the clip. And then, oh, and these are the... Um, Coffee cup stickers. Yeah, it's from the paper studio, which is Michael's La Petite's, and Tough they're just like you. I know, right? It's just little cute blingy coffee cups, and so that was it. And she went ahead and created these lovely, lovely um, embellishments. Thank you so much for sharing with us, Madison. Thanks. And we want to thank you guys for stopping in and checking out the video. Um, as usual, please don't forget to subscribe, ask any questions comments. down below, share comments, um, and feel free to share it with your friends. And by all means, please try them because, again, this is why Madison loves to make stuff and share it, is for you guys to go ahead and try these. Um, if you do not have the punches, not a big deal because you can go ahead and just use a stencil or trace anything, you know. I mean, uh, here's some Vaseline. I mean, you could trace the lid off of this and create the outer shape and then use maybe the bottom even look at that i hadn't even noticed that but you can do the bottom and create the inner um shape and then any acrylic any watercolor anything watercolor oh. pencils markers anything you've got can actually create the backgrounds um and yeah so we definitely hope that you will give these a try any age any style any sticker or embellishment that you have um just use the colors to match that but um, anything else you wanted to say? I hope you send us pictures. Oh yeah, you like, I wish we could share pictures on Facebook. Um, I'm sorry, on Facebook, on YouTube, because then we could actually see if you guys did create some. And you know what, that's something that we might think about. So, hmm, well, we'll, we'll think about that because yeah, that would be really neat. So thank you so much, much. for hanging out with us and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye, have a blessed day.